By now, you've probably had more than one aha or magical moments thanks to a large language model or LLM. Whether it was chatting with Google Gemini on a browser or mobile app, or calling the Gemini API with a prompt. What if, instead of asking Gemini one question at a time, you could prompt it to help you analyze your BigQuery data row by row and at scale? In this video, you'll see how you can use BigQuery's integration with Vertex AI and Google's large language model family Gemini to analyze your unstructured, semi-structured, and structured data to gain new insights and enable novel analytical applications. Gemini can help you analyze your data in several ways, including text summarization, rephrasing of text, feature extraction, and sentiment analysis. It can also help generate new content for data enhancement, such as turning a zip code into a city. The Gemini family of models also has options that handle multimodal input, meaning a combination of text and image or video. This unlocks additional use cases, such as object recognition, captioning or description of images and videos, digital content understanding, and for information seeking by combining world knowledge with information extracted from images or videos. However, applying these use cases to a large data set, say thousands of product images or customer reviews, would be a complex task requiring code and infrastructure management. Luckily, BigQuery's integration with the Gemini models through Vertex AI solves these challenges, allowing you to interact with Gemini using SQL and taking advantage of the scale of BigQuery. Getting started with Gemini follows two high-level steps. First, you'll create a model in BigQuery ML that references the model endpoint. Once the model is created, you can call the model on demand with a SQL select statement using the ml.generateText function. This example shows creating a model that references Gemini Pro, which handles text input and generates text as a response. If you're planning to use a multimodal model that handles both visual and text input, such as Gemini Pro Vision, you'll first make your visual data, such as videos or images, available as a BigQuery object table. Object tables are read-only tables that reference unstructured data objects residing in cloud storage. Once created, each row of the object table corresponds to an object, and the table columns correspond to the object metadata generated by cloud storage, including any custom metadata. Creating the multimodal model is similar to the text model, as you only need to update the options to reference the multimodal endpoint. Calling the model with ml.generateText does have slightly different requirements for multimodal models. The text prompt moves out of the select statement and into the struct itself, and the same prompt is applied to each row of the referenced object table. Okay, let's go to a demo to see this in action. In this demo, I'll be analyzing a set of movie poster images to understand more about the movies they represent. The multimodal Gemini Pro Vision model will accept the image as an input and will be prompted to identify the movie represented by the poster and its year of release. Then, the Gemini Pro model will take that movie title and year as text input and will be prompted to provide a text summary. I'm working inside of an embedded notebook directly in BigQuery Studio which is an environment where we can combine Python, SQL, and even command line tools like gcloud and bq to perform analysis. There are a few setup steps for working with Vertex AI models in BigQuery. These include enabling the Vertex AI and BigQuery connection APIs, creating a cloud resource connection, and then granting the Vertex AI user role to the service account used by the cloud resource connection. Next, I'll add our movie poster images to an object table. First, I'm creating a dataset to hold the new table, and then I'm using the create external table statement to create a table linked to the Google Cloud Storage bucket that houses the images. Now, I'll create the Gemini remote models in BigQuery ML. Firstly, I'm creating a remote model pointing to the Gemini Pro model endpoint, which I'll save in my new dataset and name Gemini Pro. I'll do the same thing with a second model, this time pointing to the Gemini Pro Vision model endpoint, and I'll name it Gemini Pro Vision. Now, if I go to the Explorer pane in the BigQuery console and refresh the contents, you can see I now have the new dataset with the movie poster's object table, as well as the Gemini Pro and Gemini Pro Vision remote models. Let's use them to do some analysis. The first thing I'll do is use the Gemini Pro Vision model to help understand the images. I can send requests to the model by using the ml.generateText function, referencing the model in the parameters. 
the function syntax when used with the vision model expects an object table in the table parameter. I'll provide a text prompt within the function struct. In this case, I'm asking the model to determine the movie represented in the poster and to provide the movie title and year of release, specifying that that response must be returned in JSON format. Once the execution is complete, I can take a look at a few sample responses and their structure. I'll use SQL to pull out the movie title and release year from these responses into new columns. What if I wanted a bit more information about each of these movies, say a text summary of the movie? This content generation use case is perfect for the Gemini Pro model. Again, I'm using the ml.generate text function, this time referencing the Gemini Pro remote model. The table parameter will be a select statement that pulls the movie title and year into a prompt and asks the Gemini model to provide a movie summary. Note that the prompt for Gemini Pro can be unique to each row and incorporate data from the columns of the table, as I'm doing here with the title and year columns. It also requires the prompt to be provided in its own column named prompt and contained within the table parameter. This is slightly different syntax from the previous query to the Gemini Pro vision model, where the prompt was provided in the struct. In the results, I now have the image URI, title, year, and movie summary provided by the Gemini Pro model. This data could be saved to a table or used in further downstream analysis, say joining it with other data such as movie reviews for sentiment analysis. Gemini's ability to turn unstructured data into a structured format enables you to draw novel insights and join that data with your structured data for even more possibilities. Accessing Gemini via BigQuery ML means you can do this at scale without complex code, needing ML expertise, or ever leaving your data warehouse. Try it for yourself. Check out the documentation and more resources linked in the description below.